scoring five points is so tiring. <laughs> he scored five points. Way to rock it, dude. It is so fun to be here in the baby section. Everything is so cute. Whoa. Make sure to have your backpack on. So we dropped off the kids at school and I'm really proud of myself. They have not been late all year long and today it was really close. We were cutting it really, really close. But it was field day and I had forgotten their sunscreen and so I had to go back and that's what made us late. Anyway, we came out to this beautiful park with some friends and the playground was too wet to play on this morning. So we're just exploring. Hey, a boy. Is there the quack quacks over there? Do you guys see the heron? Kind of hiding through the grass, but you can see it. This is beautiful. Where's the heron? You see it? I see it. It's, it's kind of walking in the water, huh? That's called a heron. So this lake is right outside of Bass Pro Shops in Independence, and so now the kids want to go in and explore the store, which I can't really blame them. Those are really fun stores. Let's go. Laura, what is it? It's a car. It's not a car, it's called a boat. So we walk up to all these boats and Laura says, look mom, a car. And I said, Laura, those aren't cars, those are boats. And she goes, where's the water? And I was like, good point, good point. Are you driving the boat for us, Caitlin? Where are we going? South Africa. No, that one's a moose. Is it scary? Yeah. It's just pretend, Laura. That is a big fish. No, we're not going to eat it. Um, because that's not the kind of fish that we're going to eat. There's a shark. Oh, Caleb, those are just fish. But then why do it have the long fish? It's just a long fish. Hey. So I'm normally not happy about ants all over my house, but in this situation I'm happy about it because this is the bait that they take back to their nest that should wipe them all out. That's still disgusting. Yeah. So I had a meeting to get to today, so I was hurrying the kids out of the store. We walk out the front entrance, and Caleb sticks his hand into the ashtray that's like right outside the door. It had rainwater in it. It was disgusting. So we head back in. We wash his hands multiple times. Then we're walking on the path to the car, and again, I'm running late, so I'm like, come on, guys, come on, hurry, hurry. And anyway, they're giggling and having fun, and they roll onto the grass into dog poop that's right there. And I pick them up, and I'm just like, absolutely disgusted. Laura got some on her wrist and I like ran to the car to like get some Kleenex and clean her off. And anyway, it was just one of those moments when you're in a hurry and you're trying to get somewhere and you're like, seriously kids? <sighs> so that's mom life though. Like luckily it's more funny than it is annoying, I think. So I just parked right here, stepped out and stepped smack dab in the gum. I think today might not be my day, but oh well, there's other days to be had. Yeah, it's on the bottom of my shoe. Hey dude, whose sunglasses you wearing? Daddy's. Shh, don't tell him, it's a secret. Let's go. Dark in here. Is it really dark in here? Yeah. Hmm. Can you solve that problem? Yes. All right, tell him what we're buying here. Baby clothes. Let's go get some baby clothes. All right, so I'm headed to a double baby shower tonight, so I get to go to the baby section and pick out some cute stuff. I'm excited. Uh, what's a baby shower? Um, it's when you give presents to somebody that's going to have a new baby. <gasps> oh, Caleb, look at these shoes. These are so cute. Let's give somebody these ones. These are good. It is so fun to be here in the baby section. Everything is so cute. Whoa. Hmm. <laughs> Did you pick out some stuff? What is this? A bib and another bib and shoes. All right, so do you think it's going to be a girl baby? Yep. <laughs> Who's that sound? Who is that sound? I don't know. What'd you say? I say honk honk. Honk honk. 
<laughs> so Caleb was climbing out of the car and accidentally hit the horn the first time and Laura goes, oh, who was that? And I said, who do you think it was? She goes, the bees? I thought it was adorable. Then Caleb honked it a bunch of times, so we figured it out. Well, I got some. All right, well, here's what I ended up buying for the double baby shower that I'm going to. I got this cute little outfit set. Look at the bum. Oh, I love it when they put cute things on there. And then one of our favorite books, Wheels on the Bus. And then this was just a darling little book with all the animal sounds and a fun little toy. So anyway, yeah, I'm gonna head off there tonight. What you doing? I'm doing a science experiment. You're doing a science experiment? So Caleb, what did you make? Some rice. You made rice. How did you make rice? I got some pretzels, put it in this bag, crunched them up with this, and then poured it in here when it's all crunched up. Then I mixed it. Oh, and so now you have rice. But I just need to make it a little better by putting a little of salt in. That's really cool. It's so funny. My kids had field day today. They're out in the sun. They're like running and playing. Now they come home and then they're headed to soccer and they still have energy. And I'm like exhausted. Like, I wish I had my kids' energy some days. Laura, what's daddy doing? Vacuum. Oh, he's vacuuming? Uh huh. Where is he vacuuming? The lawn. He's vacuuming the lawn? Uh huh. <laughs> I love you. Good job. Thanks, big girl. So fun to see you. What's he doing? I'm vacuuming. I'm vacuuming. Mm -hmm. Gotta vacuum that grass. Good job, Daddy. Guess I'm vacuuming. <laughs> it's called mowing, Laura. He's mowing the lawn. Mowing the lawn? Yeah, that's it. Okay. Let's go inside. So I'm all ready to go to this baby shower right after soccer practice tonight, except that I forgot to get cards. I hate it when I do that, and I looked around at home and I can't find anything that I have on hand. So I kinda don't know what to do. Like, can I stick a post-it note on it and just say, from Kendra? Like, I don't know what to do. But especially because it's a double baby shower, I really need to do something. Hmm. So today when I was driving home from picking up the kids from school, a song came on the radio that completely reminded me of you and I and our dating years. Uh -oh. And was it the sound of music? It was not the sound of music, but that was a good guess. <laughs> Any other guesses? Um, what was the name of the guy? It's my life, it's now or never. Who's it? Bon Jovi. Whoa, yeah, Bon Jovi. On a prayer, take my hand and we'll make it, I swear. Whoa, living on a prayer. Was that it? That was it. Yeah. <laughs> Good job, you got it. Bon Jovi. Anyway, so this song, is it Bon Jovi? Mm -hmm. I couldn't remember who it was by at all, but I was belting it out in the car, and I just loved it, and the words, it was all like romantic. See, Come back today. when I was in college, we had these things called cassette tapes. Jeremy. And I had a cassette tape of Bon Jovi, and it had that song. CD players existed and were in most vehicles at that point. <laughs> Jeremy just had a, like, what, 20 year old car? Hey, you didn't even have a car in college. It's true. So I was. It's true. He was the cool kid with the car. Yeah. Anyway, so the words are just so sweet. Like, take my hand and we'll make it, I swear. You know, whoa, living on a prayer. And I was just thinking about like the last 11 years of our existence and how much of it really has been like overwhelming or challenging. And we've been like, you know holding hands and making it through it, living on a prayer. Anyway, I got like all like choked up singing it. I always get it choked was really up when I sweet. listen to Bon Jovi. <laughs> you should have been there. <laughs> anyway, we're headed to soccer. So pretty out here. So there's some pretty fun hills on the way out to soccer and I think the kids think we're in a roller coaster. <sighs> Have you guys ever driven out on roads that are really hilly and anyway, I think the kids think it's like a roller coaster. It's or the best something. part of soccer practice every week. <laughs> I like you girls' hair today. Thanks. Go play soccer. Yeah. Did I mention that Jeremy is Elise's coach? Hey, yes. Good try, Isaac. 
Cubby, you look tired. Yeah. You've been playing hard? Six, three. Scoring five points is so tired. He scored five points. Way to rock it, dude. Go, Lizzie, go! All right, we're driving home from soccer, so we will see you guys tomorrow. Jay House out. Name that price. How much do you think all of these groceries cost? Yeah.